Hello. So here we have my GH2 that I've been using for quite a while. This is actually the camera that I used to fly on my drone. So this was like four or five years ago. Uh, started doing filmmaking and photography and stuff, but then the shutter got stuck. Uh, so I decided to follow a tutorial online and do a disassembly to see if I can fix that. Turns out it's a lot more convoluted than I expected and it's quite interesting. So I thought uh, I stopped kind of like half an hour in. You can see I have here the uh, some of the parts I already took, took off. Uh, I'm gonna just record the rest of it uh, and it's quite similar to most um, other kind of DSLR micro four thirds cameras out there so I thought it might be useful. Okay, so <clears throat> disassembled as much as I can. Now it's the tricky part because this is uh, that's the shutter, that's the part that is not working correctly, and I have no idea how to fix it, how how to get it working again. My idea was to blow some air on it and try to see if there's something stuck. But this is way more complex than I expected and you can't really take it apart very easily, so we'll see. At this point, even more than before, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh look! I don't know what the hell this is, but a little pl piece of plastic. Don't know if you can see it against that background, but if you can see a little piece of plastic just fell off from somewhere. This could be it. This could be the thing that's been intermittently causing this shutter to be stuck for like months. And it might as well be a piece of plastic from that came all the way from this part on top of the um, flash, um, what's it called, hot shoe, from ages ago, like years ago, because this is the way it, the, the camera connected to the Zenmuse, DJI Zenmuse gimbal that I used on my S. S uh, 800 back in the day when I was doing drone work, so that might actually be it. Obviously it's very hard to tell because I can't power it to see if it works or not, but... Ah, interesting. Seems to move freely enough. And doesn't really have any rattles in it. Might try to put it back together actually, see if it works. That <clears throat> was the most bastard fucking ribbon cable in the world. It should be easier from now onwards. Just nuts and bolts. Well, nuts, screws, no bolts. But whew, that was hard. Ribbon cables. Put the kirspari. The rest is all screws, so let's try this. Moment of truth.
reset the clock. Many. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, 2010, fine. Clock's been set. <gasps> it fucking works! Oh my god. Mega win. Wow. Genuinely surprised. Wasn't expecting that. And this is the guy. This little thing. Tiny little piece of plastic that probably came from that. And I got a camera again. And I don't have to spend two, three, five hundred pounds on a second hand camera that's probably gonna. And it's nothing to do with the shutter hours in theory. It was literally a piece that has been rattling around and jamming it. So. Well happy with that, and I will put a link in the description to some of the best pictures I've taken this year with this camera, and now I'll just spare you the boring parts, well, the whole thing's been a bit boring, and I'll just put the last few screws together, which is not very many, just those there, so, thank you for watching, and subscribe if you haven't yet, so I can get to do more stuff like this. See you later.